And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. We've got a warm night ahead. Temperatures only falling into the 70s for lows over most of the viewing area with a south wind. It is possible very early tomorrow morning or very late tonight, however you want to think of it, that we see a few storms skim over our far northern and northeastern counties. Now, we'll be very capped most of the night. That's a warm, dry lid prevents storm development. But if we could erode that cap away enough, the tail end of this round of storms in the Great Lakes could impact the north and the northeast. And if that can happen, it would tend to be up here and it could have a severe gust or two. Otherwise, it's dry down here with 70s for lows and upper 60s up towards the north. Now tomorrow, after those storms, early in the morning in the northeast, uh, potentially, we see the sun come out. And then what we will do is watch the little outflow boundary from those storms in our eastern counties and northeastern counties to see if we can get any other storms to pop tomorrow afternoon. Otherwise, it's just a hot, muggy day, 96 for the high, but highs are going to vary a lot. Remember that boundary from those morning storms is over here. So it's only 87 in Rochester and 89 Logansport, but as you go southwest, we look at that. There's the 100 degree line right there in purple, 99 Petersburg, 97 Attica, and the heat indices will vary from like mid 90s up here to more like 113 way down here and about 100, 708 in Greater Lafayette. Now on Sunday, Scattering of storms in the afternoon and into the evening hours. Southwest winds, another hot one, a very warm morning, 79 at 7 a.m., a high of 93, and heat indices near 100 to near 110 in the afternoon with highs 90 to 96. So let's track all this. This is 530 tomorrow morning. Right there is your cluster of storms moving southeastward. Right, just like that, it could impact the far northern tier. Again, risk of a severe gust or two. The only way this wouldn't impact the north is if our cap is too strong and this kind of kind of misses our area. It doesn't really elongate far enough to the south. But that moves on, puts out a little outflow boundary. You can see that kind of right here, and that could pop a storm or two in our eastern and northeastern counties tomorrow afternoon. Then that goes away. The, the boundary moves northward. Then we watch Sunday for a few scattered storms to pop, and you can see by Sunday evening scattered storms coming through the area, and then we dry out on Monday, and it turn, uh, turns a little cooler and less humid for a change. We'll talk more about that on the blog here once I get that updated by likely around 10 o'clock this evening. All right, your seven-day outlook, normal high is 85. 84 on Monday, cooler, less humid. Keep in mind with these storms, very hit or miss. Not everybody's going to get the rain. 85 Tuesday, some scattered storms Wednesday with 87. And then, you know, not so bad Thursday and Friday. Highs running about 83, 84.